IHTN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hi, I'm Carter. And I'm Demetrius Baylor. Welcome to Dart Wars. I mean Braves Beat. Sorry. We'll get to that later. For now, let's get into the news. Attention, the 9th and 10th grade Powder Puff game has been canceled, as we do not have enough players signed up to play. However, the junior-senior game is still on. It will be, uh, it will be 7 p.m. at Tomahawk Stadium next Thursday, April 18th. We hope to see you there. Speaking of sports, let's check in with Sailor for this week's sports report. What's up, Braves? I'm Sailor Betts with this week's sports report. The running Braves of the track and field team participated in the Coaches Classic this past Saturday. Multiple new personal, seasonal, and meet records were set. Overall, the girls' team finished second and the boys' team finished fifth. The team went on to host another successful relays meet at Tomahawk Stadium on Tuesday. Let's check out some footage from that meet. Hello, I'm Demetrius Baylor, reporting for Braves Beat. And today, I just want to tell you there are going to be a lot of dubs. The dubs over here, the dubs over there, dubs everywhere. Nobody's going to win but Indian Hill, I promise. Hey! Family on three, one, two, three. I hope I make it through it and don't pass out at the end. Yeah. 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 <laughs> The baseball team takes on Marymount tonight at Xavier University in the Crosstown Showdown at 5. Come out and support the team in what should be a great game. If you're down to take a Saturday road trip, come support the girls lacrosse team in the Hannigan Gallipult Tournament up in Columbus where they will take on some tough opponents. The team will be back at home on Monday to take on Springboro at 7.30. Our IH softball team beat Withrow last Thursday in a 16-0 shutout for the first win of the season. Great job, Braves. Everyone make sure to come out to their home games this coming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to cheer them on. The boys lacrosse team is off to a great start. They even made it on SportsCenter's top 10 plays on Saturday with a hidden ball trick play from their game at home against Turpin. The clip has over 1.4 million views on SportsCenter's Instagram, over 603,000 views on their Twitter, and was also shown on TV. Let's check out the play. <laughs> Congratulations to seniors Jack Wilson and Wyatt Fruin for pulling this play off and representing Indian Hill. The boys now move on to two big games, so they need your support this weekend. Tonight is the biggest game of the year against arch rival Marymount. Come out to Tomahawk at 7 o'clock, loud and proud. We will see you there. The boys stay at home the next day to take on Bishop Watterson at 4 in what should be another great game. That's all from me this week. Back to you guys at the news desk. Thanks, Sailor. Be sure to come out and support your baseball and boys lacrosse teams tonight in their rival matchup. This past Saturday, the IH academic team placed fourth in their region to score 10th overall out of the entire state of Ohio. They narrowly missed state qualification but played six great rounds with a 4-2 record. Congrats to these amazing scholars. The Bring Change to Mind Club is hosting Stress-Free Week next week, April 15th to 19th. This time of year, things can be very stressful, and that's why it's important to de-stress. Write kindness cards to your friends during lunch. Play Hope Bingo, where you can win cool prizes like a gift card, and you can color on a big canvas sheet. Therapy dogs are coming on Wednesday. 
And don't miss out on yoga class on Thursday during MP. We know that you've all been anxiously waiting to find out just which lucky ladies will be moving on in the quest for love in Jay's season of The Bachelor. Let's take a look. Tonight, we pick up where we left off in the highly anticipated rose ceremony. We will watch Jay select the women he wants to continue this amazing journey with. Without further ado, let's get started. I get to pick whoever, right? Okay, Cinnamon, you're up first. My favorite girl is Cinnamon Bun Buns. Next is Jasmine. That's not a question. <laughs> Next is Anastasia. Thank you. Next is Raylan. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Will you accept this rose, Ashley? <laughs> of course I will. Thank you. Thank you. Will you accept this rose, Briella? Yes. Thank you, Jay. Will you accept this rose, Lauren? Will you accept this rose, McKenna? No, the the. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I'm gonna lose you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Give me a hug, baby. <laughs> you girls gave me jalapenos today. It made me spicy and hot. Ladies, I'm ready for this adventure. I'm really excited for the journey. It'll be interesting to see who, uh, who Jay picks in the end. Last month, your very own Econ Challenge team finished first in state. They move on to national semifinals on April 17th. Be sure to tell Ethan Shaw, Mark Kolodanko, Cooper Pierce, and Redu Dragon Me Rescue. Uh, congrats and good luck. We're going back to our normal schedule next week, but we will still have state testing on block days. Both U.S. History tests and U.S. Government tests will be next Wednesday and Thursday. Best of luck to the test takers. With the first week of Dart Wars nearly over, competitors are stepping up their game for the final days of the week. Several teams have already been eliminated. Say goodbye to names such as the Powerpuff Girls and Social Justice. open night of Godspell Jr. The cast and crew have worked very diligently on this production, so be sure to show up at 7.30 p.m. tonight or Saturday night. A final reminder that the annual food fight event held by our AP Human Geography students in partnership with Magnified Giving will be held this coming Wednesday in the high school cafeteria from 7 to 9 p.m. This will donate money to a nonprofit that they believe has best tackled the problem of food insecurity both inside and outside of our community. The amount of money raised for this selected nonprofit will also be announced. Come support your fellow students at this event for a great cause. That's all we have for you this week. No, it's not. I am the wave god. Look at these. I was brushing the whole entire episode. You know what you should do? You got to be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, email us with any school updates, because I am the wave god. I'm sponsored by Brush King. Let's get that money. Uh, or see, come see Godspell tonight at 7.30. Be sure to check up on the baseball and boys lacrosse matchups tonight. And as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. <laughs>